Like a park scene, I want to talk, everything to look like for the kill children come here, I want to feel like this is their home. Well, I said, well, I'll, I'll check into it. So I went back, because I have an architectural background, I went back and illustrated the neighborhood she wanted. And long story short, I ended up doing my first mural project at Harold Washington Elementary School. We had 45 schools. We had 45 schools, probably 250 mural projects. Okay? I love education. I did not know that that was my other patch. So for me as an artist, I primarily deal with educational issues. Uh, you can come to my booth and you can take it out not here try to plug or sell anything. Matter of fact, every student here, all you children, I want to give you a free t-shirt because I'm glad to be here. I sell it for original. This is no copy of anybody else's stuff. You won't even get this anywhere else at this point. Uh, one of the reasons I want to do is get my product back. We have over 100, 200 product lines dealing with t shirts, posters, prints, and stuff of that nature. So we're trying to get on another level. I'm trying to employ some people, employ some you, and get it on another level. Uh, as I leave, uh, the pastor said one specific thing that I want to address today. Somebody asked me a while ago, because I am a minister. I always tell people, I have two professions, one I live to do and one I do to live. When I live to do is ministry, when I do to live is what you see. So this gives me the luxury of doing more ministry. I've been eight years in jail ministry and, and life skill program in the public in, in the jail system. So I've done a lot of things. People think I'm just an artist, but I like being low-key because I don't want nobody to bother me. <laughs> unfortunately, I can't stay low-key low for too much longer, but what's happening now is